everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a video on Eunice hair um so this is the box that the hair came in pretty red box um and then also in the box it comes with this as well and then this little package has I can open it <laughs> It has lashes, which these lashes look really, really, really good. Um, and then it also had wig caps. I believe it's one or two in there. This is one wig cap. It also comes with this. And this is what you put on top of your wig cap and then you put your wig on top. It's supposed to secure your wig. But I've never used this before, but I will try it on later. And then... They also sent this. This is jewelry. This is necklaces in here. So, looks like. And then it comes with two different chains. This is really cute. I feel so special. And if you haven't noticed, if you haven't noticed, I'm also wearing one of the robes that they sent me. This is really cute. Um, I honestly, I was like, why not just wear this while I'm filming the video? Because I like it. So the hair that they sent me is this straight, beautiful hair. It's so soft. Um, it already came pre-plucked, but I plucked it just a little bit more because I wanted to give it that natural look. So this is the hair. And it is 24 inches long. And I just love it. I cannot wait to put it on. So let's get into the video. So I had went ahead and applied my foundation on my lace because I don't bleach my um, lace. But I'm going to start bleaching it because I just want a different look. I'm going to start bleaching my lace and stop being lazy. But um, what you see me doing is applying my foundation on my wig cap. And I'm also going to start doing the ball cap method. I know that method takes a long time, but I do want my wigs to be slaying. I mean, I'm just giving you guys the easy way to apply your wigs for, like, for beginners. But I do want to try different methods as well. So definitely my next video is going to be a totally different method of applying your wig. You know what I'm saying? Because I know this is just the same method as always. But, you know. After applying my Got To Be Glue, I do like to apply my hold spray. Because I feel like it does secure your lace better with the Got To Be Glue. So, I'm trying on the wig now to see how it looks. But, the glue still needs to dry so this is what i'm doing i'm waiting for it to dry while i'm on my phone and i think i was trying to figure out how to do a tiktok um i'm new to tiktok and everything else but not everything else <laughs> i'm just new to tiktok so i was trying to create a tiktok so that's what i'm trying to do here like you know so now i'm just gonna apply my lace on top of the glue um because i felt like the glue got tacky enough for me to apply the lace on it and I'm just gonna style it. Look at that. Beautiful, but it still needs work to be done. So trust the process. Honestly, this is my favorite part. Like, I love the styling part. I, I really don't like the beginning process of applying a wig, but after the beginning process is over, which is the hard part, I like the easy part. So this is the easy, fun part. This is like the part that I enjoy doing. You know what I mean? And I know it's probably like for most of you too as well. But yeah, this is my favorite part. 
So as you can see, the wig does look laid. So now I'm just going to be working on um, the baby hair. But I still haven't cut my lace. But I'm going to cut it. But I'm just trying to work on my baby hair to see where I want it and how it's going to be. Because having a, having a closure, um, there's not much you can honestly do. So I like to take my time to figure out how I'm going to place this baby hair or like how it's going to be. I know you're probably confused as to why did she just try to do her baby hair without the lace being cut. I get it, I get it. So I'm just going to push everything back because it's time to cut the lace and do the baby hairs. I was just trying to figure out like where I wanted my baby hair but now that I figured it out, I'm just going to push everything back and then now I'm just cutting my lace. The fun part is not cutting the lace, like I don't know, I always get so nervous cutting the lace because you can always mess it up you know what i mean so yeah you can always cut too much or sometimes you can cut too less too less sometimes you can cut less but sometimes you can cut too much so yeah but just trust the process it is going so now we are doing the last part of it all which is the baby hair i do love this part this is my favorite part of it all even though i don't really i'm not really good at doing baby hair but you know practice makes perfect so i've been doing baby hairs so i can practice so i can slay my baby hair one day but you know i'm gonna do my best to slay this one um which i think i've been doing pretty good lately but let me know how let me know what you guys think i mean i don't care what y'all think anyways regardless i think i'm doing better than i was before but you know by the way the baby hair process is kind of hard because not hard but it just takes a lot of time because you know you have it that you want and sometimes it doesn't look good you gotta redo it all over again and sometimes it's too much hair you gotta re pre pluck i mean pre plug you gotta re-pluck it you gotta reduce the hair you gotta take some hair out put some hair back in add more it's, it's a lot like you see it's like some uh, it's easy for some people it can be easy but for me it's a lot So, I feel like that's enough for the baby hair. Um, it looks good to me. It looks okay. Not bad, not bad. But it does look like a frontal though. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just, I'm not saying it just because. It does look like a frontal. Like, I'm giving you guys frontal. The whole time, this is a closure. Like, you would never know. But, anyways, now I'm just styling it. I'm gonna use my um, wax stick to just style it to just lay that hair down and to just make it flat and just like you know that's what i'm doing i mean you guys know most of the steps anyways but you know
So now that I feel like the hair looks good, I mean, it's not straight as like I would like it, but I'm going to add my favorite hair serum. I do love this. I love this hair serum. I love putting it especially on my straight hair. It makes it so shiny and so soft, and it smells so good. Um, I got it from BoxyCharm, and I will put the link down below, like the name of it, but um, I'm pretty sure you can get it from like any hair supply store or like um, an online store or something like that, but yeah. So since I can't find my powder, um, I use, to define my part, <laughs> I use my eyeshadow palette, um, which helps, you know, but I wish I could find my powder, but I cannot, but I use my eyeshadow palette, which it's been working, It's it's been working. But yeah, I know it's tacky, but hey, you do what you got to do sometimes. I'll put this in slow motion for you guys so you guys can see the melt. Do you see that melt? And I did not even bleach my frontal. And look at that melt. Look at that melt. At this, at this point, like... I can consider myself as good like before I was a beginner but now I consider myself as like the middle stage I can't wait to be at, at the pro stage but I'm in the middle stage like I'm getting there like you know slowly but surely I'm getting there I can't go over the fact that how good this looks so I'm gonna put it again in slow motion for you guys one more time so you guys can see <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, I cannot believe this is my work. Like, look at this. Like, am I the only one that's seeing this right now? Like, don't lie. It's not me. It's, not, it's just not me. This hair looks so bomb. Like, the lace just, like, when you see it in person, like, you literally cannot see lace. Like, I'm telling you because my cousin told me. Like, she saw my hair. She's like, oh, my God, I really cannot see the lace i'm just like yeah i know i melted the f out of this like you cannot you can't tell me shit after this you can't tell me nothing okay i am feeling myself per usual but come on now <laughs> look at this hair i cannot get over it i cannot get over it but anyways let must get ready so this is the final look i hope you guys really do enjoy this video this simple install this smack looks like a frontal but it's not a frontal which I'm in love with. It was so simple to install, which I love because this looks so easy and it looks so natural and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, look at this. All the information about this hair will be in the description, ugh, the description down below. You guys should check this hair out. I can't stop messing with it. I hope you guys go check this hair out. You would not regret it. And I will see you guys in my next one.